What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about the Tales of Tribute card game that was added in with the High Isles chapter. Now of course I play the Elder Scrolls Online on console so I've not got to experience uh, the Tales of Tribute just yet. Of course that comes out here in just a few days for us here on console and I am looking forward to trying it out. And I was kind of pleasantly surprised at how many in the, how many in the community seemed to enjoy the card game because when it was first announced I knew it was either going to be you liked it or you didn't if that makes sense. Um, I knew there would be people uh, that were fans of, of card games. Maybe they played, you know, in real life or, you know, things, you know, different types of games, you know, on PC or, or console in the past that might have some similarities to, you know, these type of games or, or type of card games. And then, of course, I knew there were going to be people that had no interest in it whatsoever. And that was one thing that I think turned a few people off of the High Isles chapter because there were no new classes. And, of course, you know, we have the new zone and things like that. But the card game is one of the bigger features of this new chapter and and i think when it was first announced there were a lot of people who were kind of disappointed in that and i understand that if you're not a fan of of playing something like tales of tribute but at the same time I, I, it seems or at least i think from what i have been reading on on uh the forums about a lot of the people in the pc community saying they really did like it even though they did not expect to now there's still a lot of people that say they don't really care about it or they just can't stand it whatsoever and there are still several people that have not played it yet that are still waiting you know trying to get to maybe try to get into it it is going to be something that i think is is going to be a bit of a, a thing that's going to be a niche thing i guess uh kind of like i said either you're a fan of these type card games in in real life or you know like i said other type of games that you can play on on pc or console that are like this or similar to this or you're really probably not going to like it at all but I do think it, it's going to be something for people in the community to do, you know, if they do enjoy it, if, you know, they're maybe bored of just going out and doing the same dungeons or trials over and over for the last several years. If you played for a long time, it's going to give you something new to do. And it seems like there's a lot of people that are really, really enjoying it. Um, I think it can be a successful thing as long as Zoss continues to kind of add things to the game and, and keep it fresh. Because we know that Zoss in the past has added things into the game. And then after this added in with one update, it, it kind of never really gets touched again. There's still a lot of changes I think people would like to see when it comes to companions. Of course, we've got two old companions, but we still have two new ones now. And I'm not really sure if, you know, the Tales of Tribute card game is going to be something that they're going to continue to support in the future. Or if it's going to be something that they're just looking at to add in with this update and, and you kind of just go away from it you know come next year we'll have to wait and see but anyway leave me a comment let me know if you're on pc have you played tales of tribute yet if you have let me know if you enjoy it and if you're on console like am like i am are you looking forward to playing it uh when the new update releases this coming week of course if you like the video hit the like if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace